Right, we are late night workshopping, attempting to. It's the lovely sprinter, so we're just sorting the windscreen frame out to put a windscreen in it, because, well, anyway, that's not what we're here for. Now, <coughs> a subscriber, one of you guys, about two months ago, sent me a link to something free on a Facebook play, on a page, like a card page. Um, quite local to it, which was something a man may have needed, but he hadn't thought about. Anyway, so I got straight on it, emailed the man that had said free vehicle, advertised, never heard a word back, thought, to be honest, it's probably gone, it's not worth hassling the fella, left it at that, sent him my phone number as part of it. Anyway, lunchtime today, we're at the tea wagon, when my phone rang, so answered it, a very nice man called Simon said, are you Al? And I said, yes I am. He said, you emailed me about my car. And I was like, did I? Don't remember that. He said, yes, he said, cut them, he said, well, I said, oh, indeed, yes, the, yeah. He said, well, some man from Yorkshire was supposed to be having it, but he's messed me around for ages, and apparently now he's lost his storage, and he can't have it. Would you still be interested? And I was like, oh, yes, I would. So I, <clears throat> he said, but it needs to be moved really quickly. So this was half past one today. Thanks to Simon, the recovery man. So I phoned Simon, and I was like, can you scooch to Bridport? Um, give this man some money and, um, and remove my new top quality acquisition. And it's just turned up here at quarter six at night. I've showed the wife. She thinks I've been smoking drugs or gone mad or something because she can't quite understand why I'd want a paper mache car. But that'll probably give it away to anyone who knows what I'm talking about. You need to see this. I'm gonna swing the camera around. I am chuffed as nuts with my new acquisition. I mean, obviously I needed another project. because I've got loads of room for projects, loads of time for projects and loads of, not loads, yeah. Ta-da! Look at that. This is a Czechoslovakian registered Trabant. Two stroke, two cylinder, Eastern Block, look at the roof rack. I am over the moon. Thank you very much, Simon. He did ask me a lot of questions to make sure I wasn't going to cut it up, and I'm definitely not going to cut it up or scrap it. I am fixing this. I can feel some daily transport coming on. Because let me move the microphone because I'm so excited I haven't even put it down the inside of the jumper. No one else is going to be cruising around in one of these. Clouds of blue smoke. Came with a load of top quality new spares that he gathered up. He actually brought it back from Czechoslovakia, I think, in the 80s himself. This is brilliant. I am over the moon. It's made of sort of paper mache, dopey type stuff and then painted. Does have some rust issues, but we're calling that patina, you know. Room for the family. Look at it. I am chuffed as nut. We do have some slight issues. I mean, mainly that the bonnet hinges don't seem to be attached to the bonnet, so we might have to take care of that. And obviously, it doesn't go. And there's some bits that have sort of slightly fell off like that, but that's fine, we know where that goes. So it's got a tiny two-cylinder, two-stroke dustbin in here with a fuel tank just above the engine. Eastern European sense, I am. I am just, it's got a few rust issues. Might have to do a bit of the welding round the, round the very flammable looking paper mache plasticky type stuff um, to secure the suspension struts back in the car. But look at that. So, I think we're going to have to have uh, Will, Al and Fudge is going to love this. He hasn't seen it yet because he left at five o'clock and it didn't turn up till half past. Can Alan Fudge get a Trabant to function again? And can Al daily drive this? I think Al can. It's only 12 miles to my house and back again. That'll be spectacular. No, I'm not taking that out and putting anything bigger in. I want noise, smoke and a screaming two-stroke because I'm strange. I mean, it's even got a boot. 
with stuff in it. And some new headlight buckets and more than one spare wheel. Czechoslovakian registered, won't be getting any parking tickets. Won't really have to worry about speeding fines. I think we've only got like um, 600 of the CCs. I haven't checked yet, so don't quote me on it. But what a weapon. Four seats for the family. I mean, I won't have to take the missus out in this anywhere. She won't go in that at all. I, I am chuffed. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! How do you reckon to my top quality uh, Eastern European plastic car? This is something else. No, oh, I know. From the DDR. So basically, she's proper communist. Um, obviously, we have removed the hood using the half-broken quick-release system and pulled that pin. Yeah. Because it don't stay up because <laughs> it's broken off. So we're going to have to attend to that at, at a later date. But what we thought we'd do is we were going to go home. Sorry, I slightly ruined that for you, didn't I? Um, <laughs> so we thought we'd see if there was any chance of getting one's trabant. One to turn over, because mm -hmm. we're not quite sure that it does that. Yeah. Um, two, possibly to a look at the fueling system, because we have all these useful spares and boxes that came with it. We do. And um, and see if we get chirp. Sparky, sparky. It's possible. Mm -hmm. So I think what we need to attend to first is to see if it turns over. So I reckon the best bet, you're going to have to do it from your side. Yeah is to slot it into a gear using the four-speed column change that it has fitted just there mm. to cope with all, chunk, chunk, chunk. all the powers coming out of there. <laughs> um, and I suppose we could just doinky doinky backwards and forwards. Seriously. I have taken the Sparkington plugs out with the useful spark plug spanner that was kept under the bonnet. Because apparently, I did some research last night, and they're not very good at being terribly, terribly reliable. So you need to carry tools. So you need lots of two-stroke oils. We got, it came with a lot of two-stroke oil, and obviously it's quite thick. Ooh. Because I think they run quite heavy on the two-stroke oils. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you have to carry a spark plug planet and a range of spares. So, if you go and put it in whatever gear you fancy, because I haven't okay. got that for you, don't sit in the seat, because it's a bit damp. <laughs> Why is it damp? And nothing exciting due to the fact that the roof leaks quite badly on that gutter rail up there. <laughs> Well, the other, you can sit in a passenger seat, that's fine, but sadly the driver's seat... I can't get in. We can't, know. <laughs> All right, let's go for... Whatever that is. There's a gear. Oh, that's a gear. So, shall we doinky-doinky yeah. on it? It does seem a bit stuck. Yeah. We might have a seized up to vent. Okay. Yeah. So I try a different gear. Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's try that way, just in case it was reversed. <laughs> well, it wouldn't really make much difference. Oh. Ah. Oh, backwards. Not too fast, in case she cranks over. I've got the spark plugs out. <laughs> right. That has freed off just nicely. Lovely. What we're going to have to attend to... Now, I have worked out that this pipe that I found fell off earlier on in the video... Yeah. That is a bit... Ooh. No, I think if we gaffer tape that, that will be in keeping with the quality of the vehicle. So this is... There's the carbotator down there. Singular carbotator? Well, I, I can tell you that for definite, because here... Uh, in this box, it's a spare. Oh. So, we need to have a look inside the fuel tank. Mm -hmm. We may need to find a suitable battery. I found the battery bracket wedged down the side of the engine earlier on. Yep. And we may need to do a bit of revolutionary stuff using Gorilla Tape. But we aren't running yet, so... So it's wasted spark, I think. Well, actually, it's got two it's coils. Got two. Luckily enough, uh. it came... Ah, the Book of Words. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem with the Book of Words. <coughs> How good's your Czechoslovakian? Uh, not... No, no, I can't read Czechoslovakian. Mm, no, but it's got pictures. 
Do you reckon that's a power curve? That's been on the, that's been on the road and road, isn't really, it? I don't know what it's been on. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah. The steam on the Yeah. Uh, we may need to use the internet. Yeah. Google Translator. G Google Trans. Yeah, actually, that's going to confuse the out of my Google Translator app, isn't it? <laughs> I've got I've got a snapping translator app. You take a photograph of things and it translates for you. It's quite, Ooh, quite impressive. That's cool. I've never used it on anything else but a dodgy French menu in a, in a posh restaurant one day that even I could decipher. So, I think we need to work on getting these two quick release bolts out for the front end. Yeah. Because I think that's the only way you're going to access the carbotutor. And then we need to bring these good people in here because most of these people probably haven't seen this type of powerful engine no to be fair this is the first time i've i mean that does look like cross. a jet powered dustbin doesn't it <laughs> it's got its winter jacket on and well it has because for cold starting purposes and obviously because it's got the air blown heating ventilation system for the car so i've squirty lubed luby squirted luby squirted the front grill yeah we have got at some point some structurals to deal with because I've got a bit of a hole in my inner wing here and I was a bit worried earlier that, <laughs> this, that, the, that it was going to set catch fire because yeah, I no, thought it was this. plastic, but it's not. Someone's just put isopon in the metal bit on the top. Yeah. So that might, that's actually a metal in a wheel arch that holds that. And it's not really a suspension tower because it's a Ooh. trans... Don't break my car. <laughs> It's a trans That's fine. It's a transverse leaf spring. <laughs> oh, like, like, okay. little fit, like the baby Fiat 126s. It's a transverse leaf spring, like a Ford Pop or whatever. Yeah. And then these are the shock absorbers. Okay. So, I mean, to be so honest, just... we could just put some more eyes upon in there because I think that's probably good enough. <laughs> and then we need to attend to things possibly like brakes, lights. But I think the main one is to put. We do. I have sat in the seat on a jacket because it's a bit damp and we do have something that feels like a clutch pedal yeah but the brake pedal is no worky well it, it was very hard so i pushed on it really hard and then it hit the floor and it's not working oh but we do have a full range of brake pipes wheel cylinders yeah. we have even got if it comes to it a brand new clutch disc oh look at the size look, look at that. the sock that is wicked isn't it <laughs> See, you could almost mistake that as like a grinding disc. No, no. It's a that's buffing. That's, 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 that's a buffer head. What you want to do is put that on the buffing no, machine and give it a good old... That's for taking all yeah. the horsepowers. 26, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, it was new. Might be about 15 or 12 now. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. So I think, basically, we've got a grand cunning plan. We have. So we have to undo those things. I'm going to peer in the fuel tank. We'll bring this lot in here a bit closer. Yep. So they can appreciate on my Eastern European spectacular. I mean, I cannot believe that when the um, when the Berlin Wall came down, all the East Germaners drove these through the Brandenburg Gate, dumped them on the side of the road wall and left them there. I mean, because yeah. who would not want to own one of these? I know, I know. I know you're jealous, because I mean, you've got your rear-wheel drive Capri. You have nothing on me. I know. We're going to have to go drifting, aren't we? Well, I think we could try it probably not <laughs> let's stop being silly attempt <laughs> and attempt um and i've got the one wing mirror yeah that clips off does he clip off i don't know don't break it off but it's sure? got it's got a clippy thing on there but we shouldn't actually what we're we going to do there's no valves in there uh, there's nothing there. <clears throat> we can't really clean the points <laughs> they might have some points i don't know how that works you must have some points Perhaps we may need to, because to be honest, I've never touched one of these before. So, I mean, I know a little bit about two-stroke motorcycles, but I know nothing about Trabants because I've never seen one before. I mean, this looks like a jet engine from here. It does look, I know, it's with like a big a whirly fan. Yeah, you could just see the afterburners coming on when you hit 5,000 revs. <laughs> <don't you>? Yes. <laughs> Let's bring these people in and have a look. Mm. Okay. Right. So obviously, people, this is what a Trabant looks like under the bonnet. So we are assuming, I think this is 600 cc's, possibly, we don't really know. We do know she's 26 horsepower when she was new. There is a fair possibility that some of those may have slightly escaped by now, but I'm not a greedy man. If we can get 10 or 12, I'll be quite happy. Yeah. So obviously, airbox, 
that bit of that we need to gaffer tape on is the carburetor supply pipe to the air coming in. So the carburetor is down there. Yeah. yeah. There's a starter. Oh, there's something in the carburetor. I don't know if that's water or whether that's. Oh. It's a liquid of some description. Oh, I think that's water. We may need to get that out of there. Bugger. That's be fine. Be fine. That's probably from its trip home yesterday, not lorry. Ah. Oh. Um, there's a starter motor down there that's probably about half the size of the engine. It's here. <laughs> it's massive. So, mechanical clutch cable. The battery goes here, because we found the battery mounting bracket, but it's up there. Yeah. Yep. So, clutch, uh, uh, that's the brake reservoir, which still has brake fluid in it, but it no do, no brakey stuff. No brakey, brakey. Uh, obviously, for the high speed column shift. Yeah, and in front of you is the fuel tank. That's amazing. That, and what happens is the engine and the exhaust keep your fuel warm during the harsh winters. Because we know that fuel doesn't like getting cold. No, 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 no. And I mean, putting it right by flames and sparks. We could go all out and replace this with a nitrous oxide bottle. Uh, no, don't be stupid, Fudgy. And have you noticed the fact that it doesn't have a fuel gauge? No. Never did. Oh, so, so, so it's literally like a motorcycle. Yes, well, you like just, an old well, you just, um, you just, and then you stick a bit of stick in there. So, what is that? How bad does that look in there? Is it? It doesn't look too bad, really. It's a little bit. Of Can we use the pointy? Oh, it's not bad at all, actually. Mm. I think that's like oil residue. I reckon that's it? oil residue. It's a bit brown. Mm. I think what we need to do is slosh. Well, I don't need to necessarily do it yet, but we want to slosh some petrol in there. Throw some two stroke in. And give it a bit shaky, of a job, shaky, shaky, shaky. So I don't know where the fuel supply pipe comes. Oh, I do. It's there. It's got one of them top quality twist on things on the bottom, one of them little dunker filters. Ooh. So I'm assuming it's gravity, because that pipe goes off down there somewhere, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so it goes off round, <laughs> goes off round the front here, and the, then straight the down in. No fuel pump. No fuel pump. So Good. It's so like gravity a, into the cup. Sucky. It's, it's, it's relies so on the suction. It's it? got a quick release front end. Yeah. So I think if you get on quick release in the front end, yeah, I'll go and find something to check the fuel filter or whatever device is bolted there. Mm -hmm. And then might go and get battery. I mean, we would assume that it's, it's 12 with a volt. I can't see it's going to be 6 volt. Yeah, I it would, will be 12 I volt. Say 12. Well, I'll go and search through the slightly rubbish battery pile and see if we've got one that fits in there. Um, that bit's quite structurally sound. This bit here isn't quite as good. I think we are going to need to do something about because that's a suspension strut. The suspension strut should not be covered in isopon. But I have got top up with a squirty fluid. <laughs> I found the horn. The horn's down there. This is brilliant. Mm -hmm. I've actually explained to you how chuffed I am with my Eastern European. You're over the moon, aren't I you? am. Yeah. Honestly, my missus thinks I'm mental. <laughs> She's like, so you're going to... Yes, yes I am, darling, yes. I'm going to go and play with my Eastern, Eastern Bloc uh, people's car. Hmm. I've even got new windscreen wiper blades, like five sets of them. So, plan. You can work on getting the front off. I'll get the front <coughs> off. I'll go and get battery. This lot can go on time lapse, yep. and then we'll be back in a minute, and we may check on the electrical systems to see if she does the journey overs, yep. and then you can hold on to the spark plug if I turn it over to see if it's got see a if spark. It's got a spark. Yeah. If you put it against the end of your tongue, then it's foolproof, and it has the problem. Oh no, it doesn't! <laughs> it doesn't have the problem! Cut! Was, cut! Oh, cut! <laughs> cut! I was expecting it to have the, the Corvette problem. Have you noticed that I have um, fixed, you've fixed my torch using gaffer tape, not masking tape? Not masking tape, yeah. After someone broke, broke it. it. Yeah. But yeah, I'd, I'd, it's got some rust on here, isn't it? <laughs> I you know what? I, I, you didn't I, see it, did you? It's been one of those days, isn't it? So I'm going to leave that there. You can have that because you might need that okay. for whatever you were going to do. No, I'm, I'm taking the front off anyway. No, yeah, so you won't need that. You're going to need pliers. Back. And I'm going to go and find the battery. Okay. Did you go breaking my car? Well, it fell from somewhere, but it was nothing to do with that because that just. Mm, uh, be all right. Yeah. Right, he well, I have done. It. I have installed this here battery, 
It may possibly belong to the Bearded Explorer, but you won't know about that, so we can give it back later. <laughs> but it's a fair trade for your um, tripod. Well, he's, he's, or, he's, or yeah, he's going to get one. It's not a gimbal thing. Yeah. Um, so, fire test appears to be reasonably successful so far, but nothing has caught fire. And they obviously didn't use 13 mil battery terminals. One thing I hadn't noticed, has this car got a Tommy 2 knobber in it? Or no! It, so you basically, they did away with the stereo system so you could just enjoy the sound of the yinging of the two... No, stereo. this was communist era. Oh. This is, I mean, the, the waiting list for these was like years. Because it was the only car you could have. So to be honest, I, I doubt very much that unless you were a communist leader, <laughs> you could get a Tommy 2 knob. There is, I mean, there is a provisional hole in the dashboard with a plate, so she never had the Tommy 2 knob stereo. Oh. I mean, I don't know whether it's metrics or imperials, because I've never, I've never considered what Russians used, or East Germans. Yeah. Right, oh. shall I lean inside and turn the ignition on? Yes. So we can see oh. if we've got any lights. It's a bit damp in here, isn't it? Let's just put that on there. Oh, I'm not going to sit in that seat. That seat is very squidgy. Right. Mind your pinkies. Okay, pinkies. There's not a lot lit up here. Oh. Clickety click. Uh, Ooh! Sparks. Where are they coming from? <laughs> the battery. Oh. Which side? On the negative side. Oh, well, I didn't do that up because I thought, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, I'll, um, I'll go all get posh and do the positive, the negative battery terminal up. But right, at least. So I've got the quick release. You've oh, got the quick so release I'm just front end. It against the front. Yeah, Mini's had flip fronts, your Trabant, look at that. Don't go damaging me no, paint. No, me paint. <laughs> I mean, you would have thought that it must have an ability to hook that cable out pretty quickly, wouldn't it? No. Well, it kind of. I think if we just leave that there, that'll be much better. You can better. trip over it. Don't fall over it. Well, I'm going to put your oh, wing yeah, nuts. No, you can. I'm going to put your wing nuts back in there, so we don't lose them. Don't lose them. Right. In theory, that may have fixed that. I'm going to leave that spanner there just in case we have a fire incident and we need to take the battery off quickly. Yeah. Shall I attempt charring on the key again and see what happens? And hurt, watch because it? it might shoot a load of oil and snot out that I put in the balls. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, we have smokage coming from the coil. Oh, oh, is that bad smokage? Well, that oh. means it's it's kind of that means we've got a power supply. Which bit of the coil is it coming from? This one here. That it's extremely hot. But it's actually melting away. Oh dear. The wire, the wire is getting very hot. I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, this red one. Have a look. Or red and green. It's not that hot. Well, it's enough for it to smoke. I think more the fact that it's not making a connection because the wires sort of fell off the end of it. What we need to do is give me this can of trade size squirt spray. I think you'll find we were to the point where we need to do a bit of electricals on that wire because I think half the trouble is that if it's trying to run this coil you might find and I don't quite know how the ignition system works on this where does that go down there somewhere have like a state, state of plate sort of thing on it I it? don't know how you get how do you get that off the top of there oh it's got two little nuts in here so we we could take the protective jacket off of it to see what we're dealing with possibly yeah You want to see if it's worth whipping the carburetor off, seeing as it's full of water. And that probably isn't really what it needs. Is that a 10 mil? I don't know what that is. I'm going to bank on this thing being in the Imperials, you know. Oh, yes, I'm doing. Sorry, it's not the largest of engine bays. How does the carburetor come off? I suppose we could use the other one for reference. Because the other one looks much newer than this one. It does. Yeah, it's got the two bolts on the back. 
just trying to determine whether it's bolted from that way or that way. Well, that's definitely freeing up. Oh, so it's got the bolts in behind there. I could get all posh and get a ratchet, you know. Pump that up there a second. I'll be back. You'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. on that. Try not to seize things. Uh, she sees things, shear things off. It's flexible. How would you take that off of there? Then? Oh, I don't know. What are they? They're not popper, I think. Yes. somewhere. Everything is coming undone. Oh. Are you using see? Imperial or are you using Metric? I'm using Metric at current. But so. Well, there's a charger whirling thingy can be jigging me down there. There's a, I don't know what that is. So, that's the, I don't know, you know, there's, there's, I mean, it's just sort of slightly confusing. Obviously this bit here is designed to lean out and come off. What's in there? Some cylinders. Well, that might not be. I'll just pull that back on there a minute. So I suppose it might be worth that carburetor doesn't look the healthiest of things, does it? No. I mean, you've got the two bolts. Oh. Well, it's because someone's dead. The two bolts, one in here, yep. and one on the opposite side. To get it out. And you've got the fuel pipe on here. Yeah, does it do the rev, does it do the revy revy? Oh, it does. Shall I try the revy revy pedal and see if that works? Yeah. And the fact it's got water in it is slightly worrying. Where is the Revy Revy pedal? Over there. <coughs> yes. Do you want to lube on it a minute while I woggle it backwards and forwards? It's just there. I know I've got the torch, which probably isn't helping your cause. Right. Yeah. So apart from we have no idea how the spark ignition system works, but that's going to be really simple. Mm-hmm. You may have to go and do some Googling and some YouTubing to figure out how that bit works. So I think we're assuming that the reason that wire there was smoking, it's not that it's failed, but it's got about three strands left, hasn't it? Yeah. So I reckon if I can get that off of there, mm -hmm. I mean, those leads look perfectly good to me. <laughs> you may have some leads in the Trabant Spares Department over here. 
We have got pretty much everything, apart from some bonnet hinges. We might have bonnet hinges, but... I found some boot hinges earlier. So I reckon that's what they are. Yeah. But I can't find any bonnet hinges. And if you get totally stuck... Uh, no, don't know what that is. You've got quite a few coils then, so it's not just the one little coil. You've got another little coil there. Yeah, so I'm assuming... We've got, this box is full of light bulbs, bearings, um, the whatnot boxes, alternator, uh, uh, dynamo control boxes. Mm -hmm. We've got a name, but I can't remember what they're called now. In theory then, if I try refreshing on this wiring here, and then we'll see if it turns over. That's not doing the movings. Oh, it is. Put squirty on it, on it. What do you reckon? Eight, I reckon that's probably going to be like eight or nine mil Imperials, isn't it? Oh, like a glove, yeah. just about to shear off. Probably needed replacing anyway, didn't it? What have we got in the way of coils? Well, it all depends. If you go, if you want to go, that's what there is a big coil in there, isn't there? It would be different from a normal style coil, wouldn't it? No. So it'd be pretty much the same as a normal style coil. We've got a Volkswagen Beetle coil. I was just about to suggest we've got the Volkswagen Beetle one that we could use. Failing that, what's in the box? We have... That looks like a new coil. These itty bitty baby ones. Mm -mm. I mean, do you, do you want to just read what the, um, what the Czechoslovakian on it says? Made in Germany. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it also says feck. It does say feck, doesn't it's it? Feck, so it's it's feck. in Germany, but <coughs> it produced in <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Right, so we have broken that coil, um, so we might as well replace on that end, won't we? Yeah. And then, in theory, I mean, it's going to be a 12-volt ignition coil, isn't it? So we could just use the VW one that we've got floating around. Yeah, um, I'll go and grab that one. That's I know, what, I know where I, I, you might not be able to find it, because I put no, it in... No, I, I do believe I saw it. Yeah, I put it in a safe place on a shelf right at eye level, so it's yeah. invisible um, to everyone. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, that does come out of there. So that's the earth side of the coil. We'll just shear that off at the same time as well. Oh, it would have to come undone, wouldn't it, on one of them? if we char on the starter motor. Have you not been able to find it? Well, I thought it was on the shelf in between where the filters are. <laughs> That's because But you've it. moved it since, oh, haven't you? It. I put it in a safe place. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> I remember doing it the other day. Because I, I, I saw it this morning. I know I saw it this yeah, morning. Yeah, I thought it was... 
Oh, we've got to go through it in here. Ah, in ah. this safe place. I'm just going to get some electrical connections. Are we going to try and remove this carburetor, or are we going to try and see? Yeah, I think, we, well, I think, to be honest, sense would say, I mean, obviously our microphones will be working now, mm. but the poor YouTubers is quite bizarre. Now looking, or the poor YouTubers are looking at an empty frame with two idiots waffling on in a tool room out of sight. <laughs> Might need to edit that bit out. Right, we're back. So, no, I, if you want to work on getting the car batuta off, then, mm -hmm. the torch I've stuck on the only magnetic bit of the car, there's another one stuck there if you want one that um, yeah. does the bending. That's the yeah. one you didn't break the other day. Not that I'm sore about it and keep going on about it at all. You know. No, not at no, all. No, I haven't. Mean, luckily enough, I'm not like one of those type of people that mentions it all the time. Right. Man is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really ought to put some spark plugs just sat in these holes before I pour any cack into the engine. <laughs> well, I've been good idea. Well, I like the way the spark plugs don't even match. Oh. I think they, they might possibly have spark plug issues, if you know what I mean. Because the two strokes always used to oil up, didn't they? Yeah. Vile. I just wonder if it felt like something had come out, but no, he's dry. Yeah. Squidgy on the next setting down. God, will that stay on there? Yes. Right, I'll have the torch that doesn't do the bendies. It sounds beautiful out, lovely outside, that liquid sunshine. I don't know what you call liquid sunshine at night. Uh, liquid moonshine? Liquid moon, that's a good point. Mm. Right, quick for Right, so now. that is the fuel filter down there. Oh, so, how do we get that out of there? I think we're going to need a pair of voice grippy type things. <laughs> Has that confused you? No, no, it's just I'm trying to figure out the best route to get in there. Uh. Get into the bolts. Everything confuses me. I reckon that's white metal or plastic. I don't really want to break it. Oh no, it's turning. I've just nicked your space a minute so I can remove this particularly annoying fuel filtering device here. That's now mud's budging. Oh, look at that. I'll go back round here. What's in here? Ooh. Oh dear. That's. don't think you'd quite... I think that's oil. Yeah, it is. Obviously, all the fuel has evaporated. Mm -hmm. That's just the last of the oil out of the tank. I'll go and safely dispose of that. Mm. Yeah. Don't want that there upside down. Let it run out a minute. That looks quite difficult to get off. Was that just me? It is a bit of a pig. Right, well, I've got the return pig. spring off. I've got to try and get the choke cable out. Which I think I'll have to get that out. I decided out to do something revolutionary. Instead of leaving the tool trolley all the way to the other end of the workshop, so you have to keep walking over to it, I brought it here. Ooh. 
10 mil. Uh, there is a 10 mil spanner up there. I was just having a bit of a clear up before anything leaps off and it's the last time I ever see it. We're going to need to slosh something in that tank, aren't we? I mean, I think, oh. I think that tank stands a fairly size. I reckon if we popped all this out the way, might be able to get to the carburetor a little bit easier. Do you think, I don't think that lifts off though, does it? Well, it's got... How many bolts has it got? One, two, three, up there, and then it's got like that big ring. Ah, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's connected to the. Well, he will come off of the fan. Because what the trouble is, is, I've got to try and get into. Oh, uh, in there. In here. Uh, I mean, the other choice, there is no other real way of doing anything, is there? No. I mean, the other choice is to blow the carburetor out for the minute and see if it functions. I mean, it moves, it might work. Yeah. I'm just going to have to wedge a bit of rag in there with a screwdriver to absorb the... Um, yeah, we've got some glue roll, haven't we? We'll just use that, that and poke it in there with that. I'll have to dry it out. I mean, that can only be... I think that's run off from being outside today and yesterday. Yeah. Because um, obviously it hasn't got a pipe on it. There's nothing else in there. We, I mean, we have got a new carburetor, but on the other side, we don't necessarily have to have a new carburetor. Ah, that bit actually comes off of there, doesn't it? What the front? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So if I remove that, and you can probably get. To be honest, most stuff of that sort of era is built to be easily fixable. Famous last words, obviously. It's not easy to get to certain bits. Well, I suppose, I mean, because we don't really have anything to do with them. Um, Eastern European plastic cars, or Eastern Bloc plastic cars, then. And it's undoing. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't found anything yet that hasn't undone. Might have to slightly. I'm going to have to put, pull the dent back out the front, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You can do a bit of body work in one, you know. Yeah, so Obviously, don't go there. ruining the patina. If I push against that and pull against that. You don't oh, pull shit. the front of my car off. There we go. Right, odd size coils. I mean, that should work. Yeah, so that only, would only have sat in the bottom of it. Yeah, well, as long as it's not sucking up a load of water. Yeah. No, because it's kind of like a side draft, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't think they said it. I think someone got it running like six or eight years ago. Mm. Was what I gained yesterday from Simon having spoke to the man that owned it. See if it screws on you. I suppose I could technically leave this off for a moment when it comes to firing it up, just to see whether we can draw a yeah fluid. If that lets all the water out of it. Yeah. No. There's. No, there's, no there's, gouge in there at all. There's no gouge. That's, that's quite clean in there, really. Right. So the slightest, slightest bit of on the very, very bottom, but I think that's just stained the uh, aluminum. So that's, we know we got power over here because we we had some smoke earlier. Yeah. So basically, then we need to check for sparks. Right. I'm going to put the fuel pipe back on a moment then. Yes, I mean, I didn't take any, any, any notice of where the firing order was, admittedly, but there's only two of them, so that should be right. <laughs> <laughs> Battle. Yeah, that just can't... Uh, where's my torch gone? Oh, it's there. It's right. There I see. Right, let's bend that out a bit. Give it a 
better. Better fit. Oh, that's snug. Right. right. Just back on there. Get the so we've got another coil to replace the one I broke fitted. Mm -hmm. I think we're coming somewhere near to pouring fuel in this tank and seeing if it spews out the bottom. <laughs> would say that obviously this been two stroke and it obviously doesn't have any posh premix in the thingies yeah <coughs> of course we know that because um it's got oil in the fuel tank isn't it yeah can i steal that rag if you're not using it you can so i was thinking if obviously we were being posh we'd have to work out a well google it a minute we need a, a, a mixing ratio for it don't we yeah. But seeing as it hasn't been started for an age, I was thinking maybe sloshing quite a lot of oil in there. Mm, no, because then you probably have the, the gumming up of the, of the... But we want a sort of cylinder lubricant, don't we? I suppose we'd pour a little bit down the... Oh, we could pour some down the down, thing, yeah, because it's quite heavy, this oil. So now I see what ratio that Shravant runs at. I can't do that because we're filming on my phone. And um, mm. I think we just launch a load of that in there and stir it up. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what any self-respecting Eastern European. So, 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 what's it say on the bottle? It's in. It's it's in Czechoslovakia. So twenty-five to one, fifty to one, thirty-three to one, forty to one. Yeah. Well, that doesn't help because that, that tells you what the thingy on the side of here is mm. so i suppose if we which is the 25 to one isn't it 40 parts to one or 25 parts oil to one part 25 parts it, perhaps mine we don't even know how big that fuel cell is <laughs> i've got a cunning plan called i'm going to tip some of this in here yeah and as long as we tip enough of that in there if we can get the lid off by the time i've tossed a load of petrol on top of it so what do we reckon that can is a certain amount of leak. We'll just slosh some in there like that. That, that will be absolutely peachy. <laughs> I don't think you've put enough in there, Al. I think I have put enough in there. <laughs> Going to go and find a funnel. I think my return spring's not going to return very well. That wants to be... And then hopefully, if we get lucky, all of that fuel should escape out of the bottom where I've pulled the... Um, I better remember what I've done with that, so I don't lose it. And then in a minute, if it is working, it'll all end up with you. <laughs> is there fuel pouring out the bottom down there or not? No. No, out of there. Yes. Yes, that's oh. all that's working. Oh, it's jolly good. Right, so that means we've got fuel coming out of the tank. So in a minute, if we get lucky, you should have fuel coming out down by you. Where's that gunged up? Or have you screwed it back on? I had I haven't I haven't um I've screwed that back on. Oh, this doesn't want to do up. Oh she does. Uh, I think you might find the fuel, oh, the fuel the pipe, pipe the pipes on. have got a bit of a leaking going on, yeah. Yeah. Actually, if I push it down, it doesn't leak. That might oh. not have been my finest idea. Oh, bugger. No, it's alright, we can fix that. What size does that bunion look? Uh, it looks like a 14 or a 15. Right, the 14's over there. If we take the union out and I poke my finger in the end of it, then we can remake a fuel pipe, can't we? Right. I mean, the, can't, the tank needed cleaning out anyway. So. Ooh. Ooh. That worked. Yes. Now that fuel pipe definitely leaks. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 we have got it. Here we go.
How much fuel did you actually pop in there? Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, I was being confident, wasn't I? Right, if I uh, stick my hand over that. Yeah, I'll go and find something to poke in the hole. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to go and find to poke in the hole. Bolt? Yeah, a bolt will do it. I reckon that might do it. Right, it's quite a fine take your finger out there. It's quite a fine thread. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to screw it in there. It doesn't need to be screwed in there very much. Beautiful. Perfect. Right, so we need to refresh on this air fuel line because it's died. It's still... If it's dripping a little bit, it'll be fine. Don't do it up too tight, otherwise it'll no, break it. No, I'm not going to... I'm just trying to stop it from... because it's quite a fast drip. Right. Uh, I'm going to see if in the box of stuffs... Ah! You've got a tried bounty one. I've got a brand new fuel line. Bloody good show. Right. Uh, in which case, I'll take the 17 wheeler <laughs> off the bottom. Yeah, if I thread this on the top here... I don't suppose you've got a new return spring in your collection of goodies? I, I don't know. Go and have a look. I probably have. This, this car came with a full service kit. It's got everything. Uh, coils, brake pipes. Honestly, the guy bought everything. I mean, the brake pipes are even greased. Oh. Um... Right, that'll go through there. Ah, oh, that's nice. I've got a clutch cable. Never guess what I just found. Oh, crikey. Right, I've got another coil if we need that. And there's, oh, there's even brake hoses in here. It might be easier if that comes out through the top. Right, there. Yeah, if you've got an arm, because it's armoured fuel hose, isn't it? Yeah. Right, if I poke... Right, hang on a second. Right, I've got that. Yeah. Yeah, right. I've got me over in. Towards you. Uh, Actually, if he comes out towards you, it'd be easier because he's got it doesn't, the... It doesn't do much bending. Oh. Does it come, it come out through there? Yes, oh, it <laughs> it's got it. It's broke. Right. That's fine, <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> so in theory, that's got to go back through there then, hasn't it? Is that coming to you? Yes. Yes. Right. Hang on, I need to go to the other side of that belt, otherwise we're going to go through in trouble. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty, mm. oh, I'm really quite chuffed with this car. So that goes in there. Yeah. Got to try and get that. I could go all posh and put brand new. I mean, I really ought to check that the banjo's not bunged up before I put it together, and I? No, the banjo works. What are you doing? I was getting the O-ring Getting back. the O-ring back out. Oh. All right. The torch has gone on flashy, flashy. Right, I'm going to now flood you with... But I suppose I'd better wait for you to... Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, because um, obviously I've got the petrol stop bit at my end, haven't I? I probably would be better off getting a new... Because that is a bit split and horrible shall i put the kettle on and we'll put the camera on pause a minute yeah and, and then i'll go and find a new just see if there's anything well it's i have made you a cup of brown undrinkable owl speck and mud <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> it's fine don't worry about it excuse me i'm chewing on cake as well there's some cakes over there what do we them david gave them to us earlier oh lovely Sorry, YouTube people. Mm. Want to listen to me? What? How are we doing? Okay, I'm just going to pop this. Oh, so can I put, can I put the other end back on? You can put your end back on, but don't pour any fuel on it yet, because I'm not going to tighten this until you've got your end in the. No, oh, well, it's going to pour fuel out of everywhere as soon as I take me bolt out. Unless. Right. Okay, hang on then. Two secs. Two secs. Yeah, it's definitely pouring sort of brownie coloured snot out of here. <laughs> be fine, fine, nothing to see here. Okay, that's tight. Right. We know that fuel line's not blocked anyway, because it's new. Oh, that's worked lovely. Yep. Oh, this fellow's good, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, Christ. Right, so what we want to remember to do is put it in its clip here so that the fan doesn't eat it. Yep. It's done. 
Right, uh, put that back in the spares department. Shall we continue sloshing a bit? How much more, how much fuel's left in there? Oh, we could probably give it a bit more. <laughs> give it a good tad of petroleums. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You having trouble with the return spring? Yeah, I'm just trying to find somewhere to hook it onto where it's going to stay. Did you find it. a new return spring then? No, I've I've just modified the one that. Ah, oh, bent, pulled a bit off and bent bit, it. Yeah. There's a thing there, maybe I can hook it right. into that. Right, that's probably a hundred miles range we've got in there now, you know. Apparently they're quite, supposed to be quite good on fuel. Oh. So I could pour a little bit of two-stroke oil in these cylinders, couldn't we? Yeah. She's going to be a bit... Okay, I think I've got the return spring to where it was originally. Make sure we've got returns. Right, so what we need to do in a minute is char on the starter motor okay. and see if it whizzes over. Now we've cured all our fire-based problems, apart from covering the floor in petrol. <laughs> oh, it's right by me. Luckily enough, it's raining. That's wet petrol, and I have heard that wet petrol doesn't work quite as well as non-wet petrol. I'll just not... I'll put the petrol over here. <laughs> It'll make me feel better. Because it's not full of petrol vapour in here at all. You can't smell that, can you? No. No, no. Right, so... Apart from the fact that it must have some points and we haven't found those yet. Mm -hmm. uh, by the amount of points that are in the, um, the box, I'm assuming it has points, that you would assume they must be fairly accessible. And they've got to be running off of I can't see them. Hmm. Unless they're in that whizzy, they're in that whizzy thing on the front there, aren't they? There look. That's where the cables go in. I reckon the points are rotating on the end of the on here. That's the point. Yeah. Yes, it is, because it's got a... Oh. So we have to clean the point through the passenger's footwell. There's probably some sense to that. I bet you... Can you go and eave on the steering wheel? Mm-hmm. Steer towards me and see... Well, we'll try steering both ways and see if that gives you access to the point. Okay. <coughs> it does smell quite petrol around here. It's because I've poured gallons of it on the floor, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'm going to try this way first. Oh! Uh, no, I'm not sure that's doing it. No? I we might need to go the other way. Okay. The uh, power steering's not working on by the look of things. I think that's going to do it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's it. Don't go breaking my car! The <laughs> steering wheel was cracked. No, it didn't. It actually wasn't the steering wheel. It was something down here. And we haven't got a steering wheel. So don't break the steering wheel. <laughs> I'm going to let a bit of air flow through here because this petrol vapour is slightly bothering me. So what's the three levers for that are in there then? The three uh. knobby bits. Uh. Obviously one it's got to have a choke, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, and I reckon, so we got... Well, we haven't got any doing? other... Th I don't think it does have a choke, because there's no other yeah, car... Yeah, no, it has, it has got a choke on the top. Ah, well, that's not moving that. Pull things. Right. <laughs> Do not move. No, that's... So oh. chokes, chokes here. Oh, God, that doesn't move. Do you know what that one is? You're definitely not... I can move the choke this end, it's not that, that's, that's the heating system I think you're pulling on. Oh. Now that does the flaps down the front here. Ah, the choke's on this side. Ah. 
Mm. Right, pull it out. Push it in. Pull it out. She's working. Lovely. Well, if I lubricate on it a bit, I am going to choke my cigarette because I am going to go boom in a minute. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, pull it backwards and forwards, Fudgy. Oh, it's getting better. Right, pull it right out. That's it. That's it. Right, <coughs> it's choked. Have we got? Have we got a frottledge? Is the frottledge okay? Yep, throttle is functioning perfectly. Beautiful. So if I get something to kneel on and go and stick my head in the passenger's wheel, well. Ooh. I'll see what the points look like. Ooh. And that cushion should absorb all the petrol I've dropped, dropped down here. Lovely. So I found like a really old box of matches in the ashtray because I'm a little bit nosy like that. That's fine. You can have a, a nose through my the car. The Scotch pl Club. Is it? Is it a, an English pair of matches? It's or a, a, in a piano bar. I oh, know it's piano bar. I guess is what the. Uh, <coughs> Right, I found the point. They're here. Right, you join me here in the passenger's foot well, wheel well, sorry, on the end of the on the end of the crankshaft. You will see here, behind this round tin cover, is the point. So there we are. There's the contact breakers. And um, if we get the top quality file in there, I'll give that a bit of cleanage. That well, all looks to be in quite good condition. And not too bad on the accessibles, really. I suppose, Fudge, we could get all posh and see if it breaks a circuit. Mm -hmm. um, do you want... I'm going to try and find a, a minorly insulated screwdriver, because you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Would you like to turn the ignition on? Okay. Yes. I the ignition. There doesn't seem to be any ignition lights, but... Yeah. Right, ignition's on, I think. Oh, we have got sparks. Nice. Turn the ignitions off. I'll switch her off. Right, the points, they are functioning. Beautiful. So we'll put the cap back on to avoid any more likelihood of flames because obviously there's quite a lot of petrol down here due to me being a fool and filling the tank up. Right, that's refitted. I'm going to need to look at the spring on the points cut cap because it's a bit rubbish. In theory, try the turning overs. Okay. Right, we have turning over. Ooh. And in theory, we might have spark. So I've got to try and find something to rest it on so I don't get zapped. I would assume that that's earth. Give it a go. Yeah. Right, we've got one sparks there. So that coil's functioning. Try that. Yep. We've got sparks on both cylinders. Nice. And what happened to the top quality spark plugs panel? There it is. So in theory, if the carburetor's functioning, we might be disappearing into clouds of blue smoke and nastiness in a minute. <laughs> we don't have to worry about checking engine oil, because there ain't none. No. Nope. We don't have to worry about checking coolant, because there, there ain't none. <laughs> right, Fudge. Give her the beans. Should I give her a bit of chokage? Oh, yeah, give it some choke. I think it's going to want oh, something. I, I mean, I'm not sure that carburetor's even going to function. Well. Doesn't sound terribly promising, does it? Go on. Right, hang on. What we could do is 
And we don't really want to dosh pre-mix down the carb, down the cylinders on a two-stroke, do we? No. No. It might have just instantly oiled my spark plugs up, of course, because I tipped half a gallon of two-stroke oil down it to lubricate it. Mm, yep, there. Well, it doesn't smell of any fuels. I could just give it a little bit of a sniff. Hang on. <laughs> Well, actually, it's got no. lots of oil in there. A little bit of petrol in the bores would be all right. Yeah, well, you do it with your lawn, don't you? With well, your yeah. two-stroke. Right, let's try just giving it a bit of sniff, because it's got plenty of oil poured in there, because I did pour lots of oil in there a minute ago. And if it farts, it might be enough then to decide to change the carburetor if the carburetor doesn't function. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to be turning over quite cheerfully. It sounds like it's got compressions. Yeah. Right, try that. Go on, get another go. Give it some throttle. Just get me. Has it soaked through into your ass yet, or are you all right on that jacket? I'm all right in your jacket. Yeah, okay, good. It's quite a strange seating position. You got to, it's like your accelerator pedals in the passenger <laughs> footwell. It's fine. You don't need the accelerator pedal much. It's got two positions. <laughs> So do we reckon that's running on fuel or on what we squirted in it? Try it again. <laughs> Hang on. Go on, and again. And again. I don't think the carburetor's functioning somehow. No. I will just get a carbonator rejuvenating stick a minute and we'll just have a little tap on it, see if Ooh. it float. What's light? Yeah. yeah. Check it out. I think it's a fairly sizable likelihood of this thing. Oh hang on. There is a carburetor drain screw on the side here. That is, but well, that's a jet or a drain. We'll find out in a minute. I think seeing as I've just pulled the carburetor drain out and no fuel has come out of the bottom here at all. That's something so you in think there. That, that the floats are stuck stuck closed. Mm. I think there's a possibility of being able to get the float off the top here without having to take the carburetor out of the vehicle. Let me refer to the spare one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd come out. Or I don't think there's any fuel going in there. Mm. It definitely, literally, I've just pulled this out the bottom and there's nothing coming out of it at all. All right, I've got it. <laughs> all right, we don't appear to have any fuel coming into the carburetor at all. Oh. Mainly because it's going right up. So is that not coming out? Ah, it's coming now. Needle had stuck. Ah. Needle is still stuck. So yeah, basically she's not filling the carb up at all. Let's run some fuel from there. Oh, that doesn't seem to work. I 
something's working now. Right, let's see if that will go back in there again. I don't even know how I got it out of there. Oh. Yeah, she's working now. The float has been repaired. Rejuvenated. Well, I'll get it back on there, but how did I get it off of there in the first place? Ah, no, 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 yes, no, 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 yes. Ah, the pins fell out, that's why. Luckily enough, I'm not just pouring loads of more petrol all over the floor down here at all, you know. <laughs> right, I've got that bit. So that bit at the bottom there is a jet of some description. We'll have to clean on that in a minute. Oh, I'm making a horrible mess again. Is that completely blocked? Very nice, funnily enough. Right. So, in theory, I mean, obviously, the fact that this carb is probably going to want taking off and cleaning properly, or just replacing for the other one that we've got, the new one that we've got. I reckon she's going to crack off in a minute, yeah? Properly. I reckon so. This is so simple. And then, to be honest, I know they were sort of cheap things, but it's most of it's pretty well made. Yeah. Well, I, we haven't, to be honest, via a rotted out fuel line and the fact that idiot nuts here broke the coil, really had to replace very much so far. Yeah. I mean, you can sort of forgive the fuel line for, for giving up after it, the 20 plus, well, it, let's, it, say, it, it, let's say it, uh, it hasn't really been on the road since the 90s. Yeah. That's quite a while, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Fudge. There is a possibility. Let me move the camera for a slightly better aspect. Yeah. That this might actually start. Right. Try it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bless her little heart. Where's the bit that... That choke on or choke off? Hey? Choke on or choke off? A choke off. Nicely filling the place up with blue two-stroke oil. I have put a lot in there, but I mean, the worst it can do really is oil up the plugs, isn't it? Yeah. Let's 
See, if I, if I didn't know any better, and I was sat in this car and I couldn't hear that it's a two-stroke, I'd think that this was a highly tuned race car with a it seriously does big sound. fan. Because it it's, got, it's got that hunting... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I mean, that's proper. I mean, that's pretty impressive. When you sit in this, it feels like it feels like it's got a high lift road cam in it, but there's no yeah. cams in it. Give it a ring ding dinger and just um, as she's warmed up a bit. I think we might have a hole in the silencer down here. Now as it's running, does it move? Try and select the forwards gear. <laughs> Brilliant. Go backwards. <laughs> right. Might as well let it let it warm up a bit. <laughs> I think there's a possibility I might have gone a bit over the top with the two-stroke oil. What I'll makes you think that? I'll put some more fuel in it, see if that mixes it down a bit. <laughs> Don't hurt it. <sighs> I've actually got cramp in my leg. I can't even that's ticking over like it ran yesterday. I mean, I know, obviously, the exhaust has got a big hole in it down here. And it's a bit smoky. I mean, you can't blame it for being a bit smoky. She's a two-smoker. Ta-da! Ta -da. It goes. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I'm going to put the cooling jacket and the air filter back on quickly. Yeah. Oh, bother. We'll just chuck it back as it is. Mm -hmm. And um, you better go home to your beloved. Yeah. I better go home to my beloved and I'm going to disconnect the battery. Good call. And, and have you seen that? Honestly, I'm going to get the camera. Wow. It's pretty impressive. You want to have a look? I mean, um, <laughs> that's, yes. That's, that, I'm pretty sure that is congealed two stroke and Al having poured half a gallon of two-stroke oil in the petrol <laughs> but that won't hurt i mean the worst it can do is oil a few things up yeah but yes we're going to need to tend to brakes lights we've got new headlights but I'd, i'll put the bezels away because i really quite like the rusty headlight bezels yeah um we've got brake pipes got wheel cylinders we need to tend tires look absolutely fine to me Nothing wrong with those. Nothing wrong with those they're not flat spotted at all they'll be perfect no. we don't need tires that need so we've got to fix I'm going to put some silicon in this channel this evening because it's obviously leaking there mm. and that. And I'm going to, we don't. You don't want to go welding or anything. So no, no. I think we'll just we'll, we'll just put some goo, goo in there. there really for a minute, and then we're probably going to have to. These turrets actually are they? I was worried about that because I thought that they were surrounded by plastic, paper mat, whatever it's called. Yeah, but, um, but they're obviously not. No. That won't take much so that won't take much to plate them up and then if you look underneath the door sill your side i did see yes yes <laughs> we're going to need to i think a bit of box channel yeah and then 
windscreen wipers, windscreen wipers, brakes, lights, and adjust that seat because I've tried to move it. And yeah, well, it's had water dripping on it. It has been inside for years. It's only mm. been out sat outside apparently six months. Mm -hmm. So we need to revitalise on the. Um, and I'm wondering if I can buy a set of Trabant seat covers. Or go and have a look on eBay. <laughs> and um, and then yeah, but no. Well, that's the result. Can two blokes in a shed get a Trabant to go that hasn't gone in at least, I think he said six or seven years, but I don't know whether it might be more than that. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And moving. Oh, yes, yeah, she moves. I mean, clutch yeah. wasn't even stuck. No. Um, I think by the time we've welded the holes up in the exhaust, and um, I can just think, transport. Think how many people you could get on that roof rack if you tried really hard. <laughs> Thank you very much, Al, Fudge, 16 Diesels. <laughs>